Well, hello. Uh, it's, I'd say it's good to see you, but I can't see you, so it's good for you to see me. Welcome back to Vectoria. Um, so we were doing minor improvements everywhere last time. We tripled green circuit production. And we boosted the productivity of the iron plate a bit. Did a bit of cleanup work. And I'm thinking let's do a little bit more cleanup work. Then we can go get uh, rails and train parts automated. We can also upgrade our power and distribute the solar stuff. We are sitting at about 60% usage. so We need to go collect the ones that have been produced and put them out there. Take a look. Can we get more miners here? That's an empty patch. Since we're basically established on how we want the belt lines, we might as well mine it out fully. Put a power pole there. That'll make them happy. And get another 14k available for mining. Point seven k power pole. That's fine. Nothing went. We complained about the loss of power, so that's one point seven k available. And then it won't mine much because belt is going to be in the going to be backed up too much. There's a little bit there, but we can't fit a miner in that space. And one square too short. I really don't want to go rearranging the stuff for the lab. Those are dead. And even if we moved a belt up or down, still won't get us get us enough space there. So we're not that desperate. If we if we needed it, we could start doing undergrounds so we can get more miners in. But we are fine. There, as more of a desperate desperate move. And patches got plenty. When we get rid of miners and things like that, we'll start condensing towards the end of the, the patch's life, but that's going to be a long time. You know, do that just so we can save on the space. So let's go uh, grab our solar, get that distributed. And did I put that on the map? Nope, I did not make an icon for them yet. So we just have to hunt around because I forget where it's at. Uh, I think it's a little, a little later. There it is. A little later in our production cycle. Okay, so let's grab all that. I'm holding. Way too much stuff, so... All the yellow belts are gone. And some walls. I guess I was gonna... Replace one of these. With... Four solar panels. Hopefully, I get these to actually charge. Now we have eight of them at 30 kilowatts, so 240 kilowatts. I have enough to power one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll, yeah, when I get around to it, I'll, I'll look into researching that as to how the, the power draw works. If that's, excuse me. Whether that's a continuous draw or only when it, the shield needs to recharge and things like that. And how they all relate to each other. Now these batteries are actually getting some charge now. Like I said, I don't un understand that fully. I understand that uh, from the, uh, the uh, Factorio Friday Facts, 
the de uh, developers put out a weekly n newsletter saying what they've been working on and things like that, what you can look forward to in the future. They said that a tooltip uh, improvement should be coming soon. And so maybe it'll address some of those issues. All right, we have 800 solar panels, 200, 200 accumulators. That'll definitely bump up power for quite a while. I need to go over here. Let's get power panels done first because they're taking up a lot of my inventory space. coming in here for maintenance very often. And the question is, I don't think that's wide enough. It is. It is. Don't have to move anything. somewhere for these two. I use them a bunch. Anyways. these because the pipes coming through all fine and dandy though breaks up the monotony of these anyways so that'll be my last power bolt Still lay down a bunch of accumulators, though they already have power poles out here. There we go. Advanced materials processing two is finished. Next, we shall go for lubricant. Be required later on. Lasers are nice. Oh, 
but purple science it is. I'll go for purple science over lasers for the laser turrets, just because we're not under heavy attack right now. Lighters are pretty much staying away from us. stuff in that dump chest to bother to move. In fact, we'll just open it up and give it more stuff. Whatever got in here by mistake. Or, or, or. grid for the most part. These can be reached from here, those can be reached from there. stay out of the stone patch. Skip a row for electricity. my mind. I'll get solar panels up and going. Let's leave room for the power poles. science now can be produced. Sorry about the low light conditions right now, but I don't have electricity, so I definitely can't power the, any lights that I would want to put in. I'm in 
the way. I'm getting my own way all the time. I don't know how many of these I'm down to now, but oh well. Until we run into the lake or run out of them, we'll keep going. Good enough. All right. Come close to get rid of them all? No. Not even close. These are really like gremlins. They multiplied. Because they got wet. Okay. It is definitely time to automate medium power poles. I don't believe I've done so already. Uh, it wouldn't be any further left than red belts. Take a quick glance as we run across and we don't see it, we'll put one down. And I'm not seeing it. I'm trapped in the pipes. No, I'm not seeing it. Purple tech is done. On to what? Lubricant, yes. No, lasers. Lasers first. Lubricant next. I need to go up to liquids as well because we have light and heavy oil now. Let's get. What do you require? You require iron sticks and. Thinking two assemblers, these for iron sticks. Four, no, one assembler for iron sticks. And then that'll lead to two assemblers. What are we talk about in terms of ratios? We need four iron sticks. We're gonna need iron sticks for rails too, aren't we? Yes. Okay. We'll definitely get at least two of these guys going then. Because we'll do we'll do power poles right here and then we'll put rail stuff right next to it, so we'll just make it a proper output here and then power poles can be just a one off thing, one off assembler going there. power poles because I used them all. Uh, what are you lacking to handcraft power poles? You're lacking uh, iron plate. 
which we need to bring down here anyways to here done lubricant comes next and then what's looking good next braking force one definitely for our, our setup for our trains laser turrets will sound even better braking force because we're not even currently using a train automation three all right coal liquefaction i have not tried using that yet And use up heavy oil and coal in order to get oil products. I haven't even explored that before. We you know we can't even get to automation three yet. We can't do purples yet. We don't have that set up. So we are limited to the first two rows plus the first five here. So nineteen different technologies available. Excellent. Let's take a look. What does medium electric pole need? Copper and steel and iron. Okay. It's going to be a little bit more complicated than just putting it a little bit south of the iron stick maker. Iron sticks can have a belt of its own. We need copper and steel to split stick and the display of belt all right well it takes a half second you have to get four items in a half second we need a fast inserter so we don't need I really don't need that many do I Steel, equal amounts. Good, good, good. Copper and steel. And it has to come there. Now, lubricant's already done. Making force. Go for it. Send out the bus. We have absolutely no biters because we cleared those two out really quickly a couple episodes ago. So I am not concerned about laying down uh, safety turrets anytime soon. I 
We'll just treat it as a completely safe factory over on the east side. West side, no. West side occasionally gets shot at, but it hasn't been attacked in a while. By shot at, I mean the spitters. Which, have we seen spitters yet? We've seen biters, but... We've seen worms that spit, but have we evolved of spitters yet? I don't know. I can't remember. As you can tell, my memory is very poor. <laughs> I'm constantly forgetting what I'm working on. But right now we're working on steel and copper that needs to come in here. Okay, good to go there. Be the last jump before cop uh, before steel and we'll break this. Now it's, uh, copper's going to have to jump over and then come in. So we'll, we'll have to break away from steel right there. Down. Over. Over. And down. Here. Goes to there. I like it. This could be just a standard split. There and curl in. Oops, one, not two. And there we go. Copper and steel coming through. Breaking force finished. That's quick. Electric engine. Necessary for trains. Turrets are better better first. Okay. We have sticks, we have steel, we have copper, we have what we need right here for power poles. One is fine, I guess. Uh, we need... No, I need a long handle. And I need a fast inserter. Does output into a chest. to this bigger of all that stuff too you know this eh, didn't need to be that elaborate of a thing just power poles I already have another six so okay That is good, and that's where we'll leave it for this episode. Next episode, I want to get into uh, train parts, which we'll use those iron sticks. So, see you then. Thanks for being here. Bye.